And here I thought I wouldn't be able to do this, but I was wrong. I am able to do it amazingly, shockingly, but yet again, very low because I don't want to disturb people. Anywho, other than everything being absolutely tiresome, I got very nostalgic yet again, which happens a lot apparently, especially now because I decided to pick up my 3DS again. And then I got very happy because like, I like the 3DS a lot, which is like, like the 3DS was like the next big console I ever bought after the Wii because I grew up with the Wii for such a long time. And but the thing is, I just bought a 3DS and that's it. I did not buy any game because I just had enough money to buy a game. I just the 3DS itself, which was an XL gray color one, which I absolutely love by the way, which I gave to my brother actually as a present. Yeah, second hand, I'm really am a cheap ass, but still. And but the thing is there was a lot of demos for the 3DS, so that's what I did. And then one game that really got to me was Rhythm Thief and the Emperor and what was it called again? And the Emperor Treasure? Yes. And it's like and it's a rhythm game. And that and the thing is with me, rhythm game is one of my favorite genre of video game as of late, as of now, as in a while. But the thing is, back then as a kid, I never really had a genre that I was really good at or really enjoyed a lot because I, never, I did not understand a lot of concept back then. I'm not saying I was a dumb child, but I was very, very dumb. So looking back at it, I realized, wow, so this is like the game that puts the seed for music in general for me as well because back then I didn't care about music either. So that game like planted the music seed in me and then the rhythm game while it's at it and then I absolutely enjoy the game now. But the thing is with the Rhythm Thief, it's like you either know this game for two reasons because it's a very what I call it underrated definitely because I'm trying to find the sales number but it, the highest it ever gotten was only around like in total around 40,000 copies sold like I'm trying to find statistic for this game and I can barely find it and I find one but I'm not sure if it's reliable or not the game is good but it has its issue but like but it did not sell well which is sad Maybe it was because it was released on... Wait, when was this game released? It might have been early in, hit in its the 3DS life cycle, to be honest, because like, it's like one of the first games I noticed them. The demos, I mean. I was like, I played the demo and I absolutely loved it. And then I dropped that. I never pick up a real copy of the game because I think it's only physical, not digital. I'm not really sure. Don't take my word for it. So I never bought it. But I have played it. Still never bought it. Which just sucks, but like, I'm not saying I hack my 3DS, but like, I'm just saying I hack my 3DS. Anyway, and I got to play it and I'm like, it's fun, it's really fun. The thing is with the game, there's like two things that it left with you. One is the music, the game soundtrack is really good. And two, Raphael, I think that's his name, and I don't know, I don't speak French. <laughs> Raphael, he either... For he's either seemed very uninteresting for most people, but in, in, he did manage, how should I say this, awaken a lot of people's homosexuality in young teens, I'm just saying. Not for me though, that honor goes to the Scooby-Doo live action movie. That one scene where Shaggy becomes a fucking bodybuilder, that was just, well that's another story. For most people, Raphael seems to be the one that awakened that in them, like most guys, so like, hmm, that's interesting, I can't blame them though. I don't know, how old is it, the Raphael, like, anyway, I'm not gonna talk about it, but anyway, but like, for me, I never realized that it was thanks to this game that I got into rhythm games, that was until Project Mirai for the 3DS, DX, what you call it, I just bought it for my birthday, and it was fun. Again, it didn't really click on me, but the thing is, the more I got into Project Mirai, the more I got into Hatsune Miku, and in turn, total to Project Diva. To the point where I bought a PS Vita, a second-hand PS Vita just to play through F and F second and X. And then I bought a PS4 just for Project Diva Future Tone and for Persona 5. One of these games left me very disappointed. Another left me very happy. So it was thanks to Rhythm Thief, and it's weird because when I think about it, Sega does a lot of rhythm games, but like only one of them succeeded. Like the first one was the one. Radio, the one with the girl with blue hair, I mean pink hair. And then there's Rhythm Thief, but that flopped. 
but Project Diva seems like to be the only good one. <laughs> and I did end up playing the PSP Project Diva games because like they're not good, but like they were a product of their time and back then it's kind of impressive because Sega does a lot of work into the Project Diva games and I mean like for the dancing choreography, they hire like choreographers, dancers, and motion captures actor just to make them and they really fucking pay off. I had like an entire video dedicated to that. Like, listen some choreography from the Project Eva series, but I never got around to do it because, like, you know, mandatory military bitches. But anyway, back to rhythm games. For me, they're always like a mixed bag because, like, it's like depending on how they present themselves. Like, when I got a Switch, like, the first thing I Google, I uh, mean, Google search is for like a rhythm game for the Switch because during the beginning, there wasn't any really rhythm game other than voice 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 uh, i don't know how you pronounce it and i thought hey that could be good i downloaded it because there was a demo and then i pressed the first button and there was no sound coming out of it and that for me is a massive turn off for a rhythm game so like yeah so the, if i don't if i don't hear a button when i click a button before hitting the note how should i explain it for me it's just a massive off thing so i never really got into voice but now there's a lot of rhythm games like Project Diva Mega Mix and Melody of Memories, which is a good thing. And there was also the other one called Demo, I heard, which is pretty good. I downloaded the demo and I don't remember anything about it, so that's nice. So, but I'm just saying Melody of Memory and Mega Mix really just satiates my rhythm game aspect for the Switch, so I'm okay for a while. But rhythm games as a whole is kind of a weird one because like depending on how it presents itself it can either break or make it another really good rhythm series i see no one talk about as a rhythm series is just dance i guess a lot of people look at it as like the casual side of gaming but like just dance is a really good series i really want to get into the newest game in this series i think it's called 2021 i was like where can i where can i play it i'm literally for five days in the week I'm stuck in a small room with like three other guys. So it's like I have nowhere to play the game. So that's sad. But once I'm done with the service, I probably will pick it up because it seems fun. Very fun. Anyway, rhythm games are fun and music is good. I'm trying to hold off until I get to the 10 minute mark so I say I won't be lazy, but I am very stretching this out like, oh boy, I lost my groove. But the reason is, is like, I'm not home alone anymore, and I don't want to make a lot of noise. Y you get me? Because I don't want to disturb anyone. My parents are sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. But then I realized it's a Monday, and it's past 12 o'clock. So, like... I don't know. Anyway, next week. I know I said I would talk about No More Heroes one day, and I do, but I fucking screwed up, and I lost my chance to get to the true ending, so I have to replay through the game from the start again, so that's cool. And then I have Final Fantasy XV. I want to talk about that game again because the first couple of podcasts for me was absolute shite because I had no idea how to use the audio. It's not like as well I'm using the audio right this time around, but like, you get me. You know that one person. God, that spike is gonna be pain in the ass. I can see it right now. It's just this giant blue line. I am so good at this, but like, I'm having fun. <laughs> good night.